Why do you think it's so hard to change habits, to break a, a bad habit or or to start a new habit or to create a habit? Why is this so, why is this so painful? If, interestingly enough, it's easy to start bad habits. Have you noticed that? <laughs> have you noticed how easy it is to, to get into bad habits, right? But for some reason, starting good habits it seems so difficult, right? And then breaking bad habits seems really difficult, whereas breaking good habits seems kind of easy, really. Um, why is that? Why, 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 why are we built that way? I don't know. The answer is I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not Sigmund Freud. I don't know. I don't know why we're built that way. I just know that we are, and I know that no more can we change the sun rising in the east and setting in the west uh, than we can change the fact that easy habits or that uh, good habits are are hard to form and easy to break, and bad habits are easy to form and hard to break. That's just the way it is, but here's how you do it. If you want to break a bad habit, if you want to um, get rid of some crappy habits in your life, here's what you got to do. You can't just stop. You can't just say, I'm not going to do that anymore, right? You can't just say, I'm not going to eat dessert after every meal anymore. It's not going to do it. Because at some point now, you're going to, you're going to, you know, you, you may not see the progress you were hoping to see. You may not get the results from that change you were hoping to see. You might just get discouraged. You might just be having a stressful day. Who knows what may happen and you'll just fall off the wagon, right? Why? Because it, it it's just, it's in your nature to just do it, right? To just do it. So how do you do it? How do you break it? Here's the answer. You got to replace it. You got to replace it with something else. Habits need to be replaced. I don't know why. Again, not a psychologist. I can't answer the question. Just know this is how it is. So if it's in your habit to eat a piece of cheesecake every night after dinner, then maybe you can replace that with going for a 20-minute walk. Did you catch that? So instead, maybe after dinner, just before you do the dishes or anything, just pile the dishes in the sink and just say, we're going to go walk around the block. I'm going to go walk around the block with my wife or my daughter or my kids or my dog, whatever, for 20 minutes. And then I'll come back to the house and clean up the dishes. What eventually will happen after a minimum of 21 days, but really kind of more like six months, is the walk will become as automatic as the cheesecake once was. See? See that? But now here's the thing. Now you got to be diligent, right? Because again, the, ch the, the cheesecake was a bad habit. The walking is a good habit. It's harder to form the good habit than it was to form the bad one. And it's easier to slip out of the good habit than it was to get out of the bad one. So once you get into the habit of walking, right, all it takes is a couple of nights of going, eh, I really don't feel like taking that walk. But, but, you know, that cheesecake I used to eat seems awfully good, right? <laughs> Next thing you know, boom, you're cheesecake at night all over again. So you got to be careful and you got to be diligent. But this is how you got to do it, guys. And your life now... The, the, where you end up in your world, in your life, with your health and wellness, your finances, your spirituality, your relationships, everything in between is going to be purely, almost purely a result of your habits, of your habitual decisions daily. The, the, the way you spend your time, what you do, how you make decisions, how you react to things, your behaviors, your language, what you eat, all of those things are decisions and most of them are done through habit because we're creatures of habit as people. That's just what we do. So if you want to master your destiny, you got to master your habits. You master your habits by replacing the bad ones with better ones and then standing guard. And that's a simple, layman's, no BS, no psychology way to make a huge impact in your life. That's also the Daily Dose. Have a great week, guys.